just like that we got new life people we have our new number one took over this guy's spot and man what a buck that's when we needed uh, the defibrillators out just talking about the thoughts creeping in the back of our heads and then this guy shows up in the cameras and uh, I went back and checked the dates on the camera and uh, he came through at 8.30 in the morning but one thing I got to check I don't remember if I changed the, the uh, I don't remember if I changed the time from daylight savings time on that so I got to check that camera this morning when we're done hunting and and double check that as um, if it's because if it was at 830 then I wouldn't have been in the stand anyways we always get out right before 8 got to go to work and all that stuff and I was like man just missed him I always you know always wish I could stay in the stand till 9 or it's at 730 and we for sure would have been in that stand when that guy came by but uh, you know, and then there are some other uh, does on that camera from, he came in on the 8th, there's does on there from the 9th and the 10th, so we're going to go ahead and sit the low, the new low tree stand today and uh, kind of see what we got, kind of see what we got going on down there today and uh, see if um, they were hanging out down there instead of our upper spot and uh, I'm glad uh, I'm gonna sit that low spot cuz I'm pretty sore today got to bed late probably 10 30 or 11 woke up at before 4 so about five and a half hours of sleep and uh, I wasn't gonna hunt today I had a lacrosse game last night and just pretty sore tired needed a day off and then I go to check the cameras and and homeboys in them so can't kill a deer sitting in bed and that's why we've been uh, pumping these videos out so today's November 13th would be day 18 and I believe we're almost at the 30-day mark, guys, of, of us hunting this season here. I think the first day was October 14th, if I'm not mistaken. So 29 days, been hunting. Uh, 18, we've only missed 11 days in the month, so not too bad. And we're going to just try and keep at it. And, you know, keep hunting hard. Something's got to give at some point. And uh, man, just need to get lucky. You know, a lot of hunt hunting is about lucky, man. Being at the right place at the right time. Not only does that have to happen, the animal has to give you an opportunity. Even if they know you're there, they still you don't know you're there. Got to present an opportunity. And then the third is, you got to make the shot. So there's a lot that falls into place with hunting guys. And uh, just hope if that guy actually did walk by. I'd be able to keep it together, man, to make a shot. It's not like, you know. Uh, but with that being said, I've been just as shaky shooting at a spike before. If the blood doesn't get pumping when those deer get that close to you, then uh, you probably sh almost shouldn't be hunting, they always say, right? Get up there in the tree stands, pretty foggy today. As long as we can see 50 yards, I guess we'll be good. Uh, usually, the upper tree stand that I've been hunting is a bug above the fog level so it's kind of cool once you get up there you're a little above the fog and uh, it kind of looks like it's like a cool white blanket um, this morning we'll be hunting actually down at the bottom in the fog so it'd be good just maybe to change things up and uh, sit a different stand and um, just kind of you know, see if anything's moving down there at the bottom. It's pretty thick down there with trees and bushes. You can't even see nothing. But you should be able to hear them walking through there if they're walking. 
just as long as you don't hopefully we don't you know another thing is hopefully uh we don't bump anything out when we're getting into the stand you know because you're kind of right in the zone there right in that bedding zone but i don't think they go in there until first light so i will see i guess we'll see uh I'll let you guys know if i bump anything out of there or not Nothing, uh, nothing really to report this morning except uh, you know, three little sneaky yodies were within range, but uh, down in here on the bottom side here is it is pretty thick. So I don't think they knew I was there. They just kind of were cruising trails down below me. Three of them. One of them was pretty good size, but. No shots, and uh, you know they might have, might have heard, uh, they might have heard the uh, tree stand creaking a little bit. I actually adjusted it on the way out and kind of really s tightened it down so whoever sits in there next isn't gonna shouldn't uh, shouldn't be that creaky, noisy in there. But uh, no deer today. Still glass in the mountainside, and I haven't seen nothing really moving around today. But temperature did drop, boy. Probably dropped 11 degrees. It was probably 39, 40 this morning, so a little cold. And uh, once you sit there in the stand a while, that's when you start getting cold. So maybe have to start. I think it's supposed to stay that way all this week. It's supposed to get pretty cold, probably. It'll probably dip into the 30s here, I'm sure, down on this mountainside. And uh, so I'll we'll have to dress accordingly for that. Uh, could dress pretty warm because it's a pretty easy walk in. Uh, pretty easy walk in, so you can dress, dress really warm. You don't have to worry about sweating too much. But uh, when you go up on that mountainside tree stand, you definitely start warming up. You had to climb pretty good to get up there. And uh, so I usually pack everything in with me and then try and change up there before as I cool down. This one here, I tested it this morning and uh, can dress really warm. Even right now, it's still pretty cool out, probably in the 40s. But uh, that's it, guys. Time to head to work. And. Uh, Unfortunately, day 18, pretty boring. Three coyotes, that's it. But at least it was something. Kind of gets your blood moving a little bit, even seeing them from the tree stand. Uh, it's pretty cool, you know, to get where they were probably 40 yards from me on a trail. So, all right, on to day 19. See you guys then.